Today's episode was brought to you by Roofing Professionals. We are now hiring for great salespeople. Visit certifiedroofingprofessionals.com and send us your 60-second video today. Each one of us can build wealth, replace scarcity with abundance, replace average with greatness, replace uncertainty with conviction. Success is there for the taking. Small business owners, entrepreneurs, startups, and the ambitious Grant Cardone tells you what you have to do to prosper in this new economy. He'll inform you in everything business, finance, and career related. Get ready. Find the knowledge for your success. It's all here, right now, in the Cardone Zone. Hey, Grant Cardone, welcome to the Cardone Zone. Robert's going to give you a little pan of the studio right now so you can see the whole place. We are periscoping, periscoping, and we are also meerkatting, whatever that is. My name's Grant Cardone. You are in the Cardone Zone every damn Friday. I bring you a live show called the Cardone Zone. Why do we call it the Cardone Zone? This is where I get your career right, your money right, your finances right, your freaking head right for the weekend. Today, I am bringing a show to you how to bank your first millions, whether you're Paulie, Robert, Shovita, Bobby, Justin, Joey, Miguel, or whether you're a young Grant Cardone. Dude, look, I didn't always have money, okay? I didn't grow up with money. But I've always been hungry. I've been wanting money since I was eight years old. Give me a shout out, praise the Lord, if you've always wanted some money. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Dude, I want some freaking bank. Okay. I want some bank. You guys want some sick paper? So last night, what happened was I did a uh, a live stream uh, on, on Meerkat. Okay. First of all, I did it on Periscope and Meerkat. I had 2,000 people show up in Periscope for it, and I redirected them to Meerkat. We ended up having 2,500 people watch at Meerkat. And the reason why the reason why I'm doing this show today is because there was over 500 questions that I couldn't get to. The topic today is how to make your first millions, okay? How do you make your first millions? I'm going to try to get to your questions. I'm going to try to answer your questions. I'm going to try to get to every one of them. You could actually call in if you wanted to, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. I want to take your questions. I want to help you. I want to get your bank right, your money right. I want to get you your first million. Let me just give you some of the points that I shared last night. Okay, first of all, let me just give you the points from last night, okay? It is never, number one, never, I'm going to give you 10, I promised 10 points, I delivered 12, and I'll do the same today, okay? And I'll go into these in detail if you missed the show. It has never, ever, ever, never, never, ever been easier to become a millionaire. you got to wrap your head around this, folks, because if you think it's hard, okay, if you think it's impossible, then guess what? It will be hard, it will be impossible, and it will never happen. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to bank a million dollars, man. Man, I got my my, my little board back there. I could do that, but I'm not. Should I? Dude, divide a million dollars by 50 grand a year. The average American makes 52,000 bucks a year. Divide one million by 50,000, you're going to find out it takes 20 years. So the first thing to know is this. Everybody listening to this, everybody, I mean, unless... Unless there's something really wrong. How much you how much are you gonna make this year, Robert? Yeah. Robert's in our tech department. Robert does video for me. He's gonna make 160 this year. Congratulations. I didn't know I was paying you that much, Robert. Actually, what do I pay you though? I only pay you how much? 
I pay him fifty thousand a year. Okay, the average income in America is fifty thousand dollars a year. If you take three hundred eleven million people, take the average salaries paid to those three hundred eleven million people, you're going to see somewhere around fifty fifty two thousand dollars a year. So, so if if you make fifty times twenty, you will make one million dollars. Uh, one million dollars in your lifetime. Now, look, if you don't care about that and you don't want to do the math of that, and you don't care the fact that you made a million but didn't keep a million, if none of that matters to you, bro, this ain't the show for you. This is how to make millions, how to make a bunch of paper, dude, how to become your first millionaire. And then we'll start stacking, doing the second, third, and the fourth. Okay. Now let me just give you a little other piece of this. If you make fifty grand a year and the government takes forty percent, then you're really making what? Thirty thousand a year. So what you want to do is this: you want to basically take one million dollars, divide by forty point forty percent. That means you need two point five million dollars. Should be your first target, not one million, because the government's going to scrape and steal. Okay, number two point. You got it? You got it? You guys got questions? All you got to do is call in 305-865-8668. We have three callers on. We have open lines right now, 305-865-8668. Number two, you will not save your way to a million dollars. You have to drop this whole saving thing, okay? I read I read something last night said, uh, a guy said, if you would save, Robert, I know you got this information. If you save $5 a day over your lifetime, Quit eating, drinking coffee, and quit eating snacks. Quit smoking cigarettes, Robert. How much were those cigarettes in New York? 14 bones. I want some bone hola for my granola. <laughs> okay, check it out. Look, man, making money is fun, folks. It doesn't have to be, like, laborious and terrible. You can have fun. Second thing I want you to know is this, all right? Your idea is of saving money. If you save $5 a day over your lifetime, you save $73,000. 73,000. I'm not trying to get you to 73,000. I'm trying to get you to a million in the show. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Grant Cardone TV brings you the Cardone Zone. Do you love selling? Do you find yourself looking to work with a team of high performers and top earners? It's time to take your skills and abilities and begin to manage your own sales team, work your own hours, and be involved with the global team of amplifiers. Join our team today. Gold Fizz International is ready to surpass your current income within 90 days and increase your bankroll by $2,000 per week. Your earnings here are limitless. With easy setup, advanced training, and community support, you have everything you need for your success. Gold Fizz, taking you further, faster. Join our team today. Visit goldfizz.com. That's goldfizz.com to get started. Build in America one roof at a time due to hail and wind damage. And I'm here to bring you the roofing sales opportunity. I am the very best on the planet at implementing success. My business isn't easy. This is going to be a tough job. You're going to get kicked in the stomach. But at the end of the day, this is the easiest sell in America. Are you willing? to go to the dojo, to get strong, to learn the moves, to learn how to sell $100,000 worth of commissions in free hail damage roof replacement. I had four sales reps make over $200,000. When the hailstorm hits, you must be willing to travel. You must have a little bit of money in your pocket to get through the first three weeks. But if you give me one year commitment, I can promise you that I give you the steps to make $250,000 in your first year in the business. I want the best, and I will hire the best. Send your 60-second video resume to CertifiedRoofingProfessionals.com. That's CertifiedRoofingProfessionals.com. Owning a home has many elements that have to be looked after. One of the most important elements is comfort, and your heating and air conditioning is priority. That's why we stop at nothing to provide on-time service and expertise for all of your heating and cooling needs. We are the comfort experts. We have the solution for all of your trickiest heating and air conditioning needs. That's why we brought you our show, The Comfort Experts. Every week we bring you tips and tricks to improve your home and bring you peace of mind with our quality service tips for home heating and air conditioning maintenance. Visit OneHourAirCarolinas.com to tune into our weekly updates and services for your home improvement. That's OneHourAirCarolinas.com today. 
Jones. Hey, welcome back to the Cardone Zone. We're talking about how to bank your first million, your first million dollars. We got Meerkat in the house watching. Anybody, we've had 600 people on Meerkat. I think we have, I don't know, 500 on Periscope right now, probably closer to 2,000 coming going. I'm talking about how to bank your first milli milli. How's that look, guys? It looks good. Looks good. good. Where am I at? Here or there? First million dollars. I did this show last night on Meerkat. 2,500 people hung for one hour and 15 minutes. First two points I want to share with you is this, okay? One, it's never been easier. Number two, you can't save your way there. Your mommy and daddy's advice about saving money, watch the pennies, a penny earned, penny saved is a penny, a penny, a penny earned, a penny saved, a penny earned, a penny is bullshit. That's what a penny is, dude. If you, if you save yourself $5 a day with coffee and snacks, then you're going to save 73 grand in a year. It's garbage, man. You're going for a million dollars, not for 73,000 bucks. Number three point, live below your means. Yes, you do want to live below your means. But I'm going to show you a strategy that will prevent you from spending money because it's like the drug addict saying, hey, I'm not going to use drugs again. Next thing you know, he's got a freaking... He's tying off one one more time. One last time. He 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 he's spreading his toes, popping himself. Okay. All right. So live below your means. I'm gonna show you how to actually do that. Okay. The watches, the cars, the big houses, all that. You don't need all that stuff right now, folks. You need to you need to have your target not on your toys, but on your freaking millions. Four, you need to play every tax advantage that exists on this planet. Every freaking one of them. IRS. That's right. You know I love you. The IRS. Now I'm gonna tell you something, okay? I play every, I take every ruling by the RS, the IR, and the S, and I have done this for years. I can tell you about some stuff about eight years ago because seven years is the deadline. <laughs> See, you need to be a cold stone baller focused on the kill, bro. I did a show yesterday. They were talking about coyotes. iHeartRadio was like, coyotes in Miami. I'm like, why y'all hating on coyotes, dude? How the hell you think a coyote is going to eat? They got to go to your trash can, man. Don't be hating on a hustle. Now, the point of that is this. The IRS is taking 40 pennies of every dollar you earn. 40 pennies of every dollar you earn. You need to figure out what code they wrote because like any game, Taboo, Taboo has directions and rules that are written to give you an advantage in the game Taboo, okay? So look, play every tax game. I'm going to give you one little tax game. Every one of you should be in multi-level marketing. Every person watching this broadcast should be a network marketer and have bought something. I don't care what it is. Vaisalis, uh, Market America, uh, Amway. You pick it. New Skin, uh, Prime America. You need to make the investment in a network marketing group so that you can earn the write-offs that come with them. Okay, That's all I'm going to say. You need to do the rest of the research on your own. I've never made any money in network marketing. But they've never cost me anything either. Just the tax write-offs. The two things that I benefited from network marketing was the tax write-off and, most importantly, the people that I met. Dude, the people are freaking awesome. Because you know what? They're all, they're all gathering to do the hustle. Okay, that point by itself is worth gold. Number five, I'm going to run through these and take questions. Five, you need to mature. It's time to grow up and go from income, job, to investor. So, for instance, Robert came on. He's making 50 grand. He's figured out some ways to make some extra money. He might bank 100, 125, 130. He needs to figure out how to get that 40 or 50 invested and out of his hands, hunting for him to get other money. So at some point, you're going to have to mature from income to investor. I know you guys on, 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 on Meerkat because you're more mature than the people on Periscope. Y'all need to mature from income to investor. Boss up. Start acting like a boss, folks. Quit acting like a little kid, okay? You go to the restaurant, the restaurant, the bill's $50, and you're like, oh, my God, that's not a boss. Bosses don't act like that. They pick up the bills. Act like a boss. Talk like a boss. Walk like a boss. Bank like a boss. Sell like a boss. Get freaking in charge. Otherwise, ain't nothing going to happen. You ain't going to hit a million dollars bitching about freaking 40000 Number seven, automate. Automate a pay yourself first program. Automate a pay yourself first program. You're actually going to go to your 
the person that you work for, and you're going to be like, automate $1,000 a month in my account. Take, do the withholding for the government, then withhold $1,000 from me, send it to another account, sacred account. Dude, that made me so much money, it was unbelievable. That way I never saw the money. What did that do? Oh, my God, I don't have any money left over to live on. Good, because it got automated and pushed to this sacred account. Man, I've, I, I, I cover so much information, I can't get to it all. Be in a hurry. You need to be in a hurry. Be the hare, the tortoise, and the millionaire. You understand? Don't be the turtle. The turtle's going to get run over by a car in the road, get a shell all cracked up, man. You need to be fast today. You need to be in a hurry to become a millionaire. Number nine, do the millionaire math. If you haven't done the math, you're not going to make it. Do not diversify step 10. Do not. Do not diversify. Do not. I'm going to take your questions, okay? Do not diversify. Number 11, get multiple flows of income. You don't know how. I'm your boy. Go to GrantCardoneTV.com. You can see all these notes with, with explanation. Number 12, and then I'm going to take a caller. Avoid buying homes, IRAs, Kios, and going to college. Avoid. Do not spend money on a home, an IRA, a Kio, or a college. <laughs> Justin, Columbia, Missouri. What's up, brother? Justin, what's up? Oh. Go ahead, Justin. I'm actually part of one of those uh, network marketing groups that you're talking about. Have you ever heard of uh, Mark Circle International? No, I haven't heard of My Circle International. What's your question? Oh, um, I have a question. I was just listening on a conference call um, because I was on the go. Yeah. Oh, you don't have a question? Yeah. Awesome, dude. Hey, yeah. let me ask you, have, you: have you made a decision to become a millionaire? Yeah. Okay. Have you done the math yet? Um, I mean, really, I'm just working on trying to grind as hard as I can now to yeah. build up a crew, you know? Yeah. So, okay. Thanks um, a lot. So, so what is he saying? I asked him, I said, hey, dude, have you made a decision? Yeah, man, I made a decision. Have you done the math? <laughs> millionaire test when you call in today. If you haven't done the math, you're not going to get there. I want to go to Vegas. Dude, do you know which direction to go? Okay. Do you have any gas in your tank? Do you have the vehicle yet? Make a decision, follow it up with math. Okay. You got to do the math. If you make it 30,000 a year, it's going to take you 300 years. Isn't that right? It's going to take you forever, man. You're going to be an old man, tired, wrinkled. You know, your dick won't work. Nothing, nothing's going to work, bro. Your body's going to be tired. Your mommy and daddy's idea of becoming a millionaire are old. Stay with me. I'll come back and go over these 12 points. One hundred and thirty thousand U.S. troops will transition out of active duty within the next year. Two out of three new vets will find it difficult to transition to civilian life. Forty-eight percent of veterans are unemployed, and every day, twenty-two vets commit suicide. For the largest workforce on the planet, success may seem out of reach, but they have more potential than they realize. And while that might be overlooked, they have whatever it takes to make an impact in everyday life. And with the right guidance, we can get them through their transition and help them achieve massive success in their professional and personal lives. Grant Cardone, New York Times bestselling author and international sales and business expert, advocates success as one's duty, obligation, and responsibility. He has proven that in order to achieve massive success, training and high levels of discipline are required. U.S. troops possess unmatched levels of honor, integrity, and discipline, and that's what it takes for success. Grant Cardone is now giving free access to the world's number one sales training online university to all members of the military. Grant Cardone Sales Training University for veterans will give troops the tools and resources they need for everyday life. Tools that will bring massive success, achievement, and the confidence to handle any situation and any challenge. Because the more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in battle. Grant Cardone Sales Training University for veterans, available now for any member of the military. 
To find out how to get free access, visit cardoneuniversity.com forward slash vets. That's cardoneuniversity.com forward slash vets. Leave it alone, man! Come on, tornado! Let's go, make a call, guys. We got so tornadoes you're, you're in here. You're hearing a lot of price Make calls before the freaking electricity goes down. Let's go. <laughs> we got tornadoes and we're still making calls. Hey, welcome back. Grant Cardone, you're in the Cardone Zone. Welcome to the Cardone Zone. Every week, every Friday, every Friday, I answer your questions about money, finance, career, and business. This show can be seen at grantcardonetv.com where you can actually see the show, the full show. You can see, see the studio. We can, we, we're having callers call in. Okay, I got Joey on the phone, Miguel on the phone, Kumar from New York. Let me just answer a couple of these questions. I've go, gone over the 12 points. Hopefully you have them. Hopefully you have them written down. If not, I got you covered. I'll have the notes up at Grant Cardone TV, grantcardonetv.com. I'll have them at the end of the show. Gary, Indianapolis. Okay, Gary from Indianapolis. Is that what it is? How do I apply the 10X rule to make millions faster? Excellent question. He's talking about my book, The 10X Rule. So I think what he's saying right here is he's pushed his pipeline really hard. Now he wants to know how to take time out of the deal. Dude, do the math. Do the math, okay? Do the math. Find out how long you need. If if a million dollars is what you want, just shorten the time that that you need to do that in. So if a million dollars, you divide by five years and say, I want to become a millionaire at five years. Okay, good. Five in a t- uh, into a million? 200 grand? Is that right? Is that what it is? 200 grand. Yes, 200,000 a year. Uh Uh-oh, Uncle Sam is a thief. Uncle Sam takes money from me and gives it to people that won't work. So what you're going to do is you're going to divide that 100,000, 200,000 by 40, 40. What's that number? Yeah, by 0.4, which is the withholding by the U.S. government. I think it would be, huh? No, divide by 0.4, not multiply by 0.4. You divide. It's a factor. It's a multiplication. Of, you need to make 500 grand a year. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? Oh, my God. You guys worried about the signal, huh? I sold that so well, right? You're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, see, guy, you're sitting there saying, man, I'm making a buck 30 a year. I'm making a buck 30 a year. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing better than I've ever done in my whole life. And I just hit you with a $500,000 number. You're like, whoa. See, that's what y'all need to be thinking, man. You got to get this going bigger before you're going to go get more bank and before you're going to fill out the 10X thing. So now you're going to start thinking about all the other bullshit you do. You're washing your car when you should be chasing 500 grand a year. So, Gary, I hope that helps. Best sales approach to make the first million. Best sales approach is no sales approach. Fill up your pipeline until it freaking vomits on you. Fill up your pipeline until it throws up on you, pisses on you, defecates on you until only success is possible. Alex from London, UK. Take advantage of pipeline to make millions. I don't know what that means. Terrible note writing, Shavita. You're awful. Okay, let's take a caller. Joey from Oakley, homie. GC, my man, what's going on? Come on, brother. You enjoying the show? Ah uh, man, you already know if I'm listening to you, I'm enjoying it, my friend. Dude, I love uh, it. Hey, what's your biggest takeaway so far from the, in the show? Well, my biggest takeaway so far in the show is to um, get my account auto, get it automate to my account. He, so he okay. What yet. he said that he likes is the automate, the self automate. What I'm yes, talking sir. about there, and then I'll take your question. What I'm talking about is I'm telling you guys, I don't want the I don't want the money I don't want the money to go from you. I'm sorry, from your employer to you. I want the money to go from your employer the same way you withhold on Social Security, unemployment. What is? What else is there? What, what are your withholdings? Medicare, Medicaid. I want you to add, uh, I want you to add your name, Joey Special Oki account. Okay? And then I want you to have your employer direct 1000 or $1,500 to that account. I'm not talking about an IRA or a Kia because I don't want you investing in either one of those. Okay, go ahead. What's your question, bro? Well, my question is, um, you say you can, I can't save my way to be a millionaire. Um, now, how do I incorporate not saving my way to be a millionaire and still um, get my second flow of income coming in? Okay, so the question he's asking, okay, I can't save my way to a millionaire. How do I get my second flow going? Well, yes, sir. Yeah, because, so. Um, go ahead. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's all right. Um, well, I, I don't know that they're connected, okay? The first one is you go to you go to the store and you want to buy cookies, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm not going to buy the cookies because I want to be a millionaire. The point is Oreos are not your problem. Yes, sir. Okay? Uh, any more than Starbucks is your problem. That's not the problem, okay? You can't $2 your way to a million bucks. Yes, sir. Unless well, you're Amazon. Okay. So the second part of that is how do you build a pipeline? Dude, you need to start thinking about laying pipe work. Okay. Laying pipe work on top of whatever you're doing right now. I got one line going. I need to add other pipes to start sending little drips. Unfortunately, most people that I know, they don't even pay attention to the little drips coming in. Okay. They're like, oh, it's no money. See, this is what you do. It's no money. I'll give it away. And then when it comes into you, uh, it's no money. Dude, it's a drip. And you know what? The only way you get a little bit going is to get a drip going first. So I want those second and third drips. Also, the other thing is I would have those drips be parallel before I want them crossing over or something disconnected from. I want them close and easy for me to transition to, if that makes sense. OK, I'm getting a little more complicated here, but I don't want it to be out here like I'm doing multi I'm doing uh, car sales or I'm doing plumbing and contracting. And all of a sudden I'm going to start selling shoes way over here. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, I'm doing contracting. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Maybe I'm going to start selling old. Maybe I'm going to start painting. I, I don't know, something. Or maybe I'm going to start selling old used marble, uh, removing it from houses, and selling it on the, uh, the, the, the resale market. Something like that. Joey, I hope that helps. Hey, let's talk to Kumar from New York. Kumar, how you doing? Kumar. Hello. Hey, hey, how you doing, Kumar? I'm good, good, good. Thank you. How are you? Good, my friend. Hey, what have you taken away from the show already, Kumar? Well, I joined a little late, but, you know, I think you, you, you put so much hope. You give, like, you know, that motivation to get to the goal. I think we, because, uh, like, like most of us, you know, we really want to be a millionaire. But uh, it, it's so, it, you know, you, you think the journey is so difficult. It's such a long path. So you, you give people that path, you know, how to break it down to make it like workable things. And that's, that's where you, you make it great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Kumar. Somebody asked me last night on the, on the stream, they said, what if I'm making two cents an hour? Dude, you could be a millionaire if you're making two cents an hour. Two cents an hour is more than I was making when I started. I was making nothing. <laughs> I was making nothing, man. You understand? Dude, you guys got to quit. You got to put your freaking bitching away. You got to put your excuse making away. I don't work for anybody. They don't pay me enough money. They don't give me enough. This is wrong. I don't have an education. I'm too short, too tall, too big, too skinny. Dude, commit. You know what it takes to make a million dollars? Freaking courage and commitment and focus. All right. That's what it takes. So, Kumar, thank you for calling in. It takes freaking guts to make money. You guys that hate on people that hate have money, all you're doing is hating on people that were committed. Do you know how hard it is to stack a million dollars? Live your life, feed your kids, go to school, juggle your shit, pay your bills, and then bank a million bucks? That is not an easy task. And what's happened in our society is now we hate on these people rather than be, rather than like, Dude, I want to admire these people, man. I mean, I got people in my office don't even listen to my own streams. I don't get it. I'm like, dude, if I was me working here, I'd freaking eat, breathe, live, learn, listen to every freaking thing. Looking for that one thing to punch through my hardware to be like, oh, wow, that was the one thing that shifted me enough. Because for most of us, it's going to take a lot of shift, a lot of nails in the head to break all that shit that your parents wired up in you. I mean, a guy told me the other day, he's like, you know, when I was brought up, we never talked about money. It was never a discussion. In my household, we talked about money all the time. You know what the money talk was? Don't spend it. Don't use it. Keep it. Save it. Protect it. Conserve it. Okay, steal it. Dude, I was so scared about money, I looked for ways to rip people off. You know, so I'd go to the store, man, because saving was so ingrained into my freaking head. I was like, well, if it's that important, maybe I should change the price on it because, you know, the little sticker back in the day came off pretty easy. Uh, 96 could look like 69 if I just did a little twisty. <laughs> you feeling me? Okay. Hey, Grant Cardone TV, you guys at Meerkat, I'm going to finish this up with my crew, the committed, the dedicated, the Cardone's owners. So I'm going to say bye to you guys right now. You can go to GrantCardoneTV.com if you want to watch the rest of the show because I'm going to dig in now. i just been teasing you. This has been all foreplay. I love you. Let me say bye to Meerkat. Okay. Hey, you guys, Periscope, 
out over. See you at GrantCardoneTV.com. Go there now, and you can also call in 305-865-8668. GrantCardoneTV.com is the place to watch the rest of the show. Get rid of those bitches, and let's talk to the real serials, okay? All right? Okay, you guys, you feeling me? You can call in now, 305-865-8668. 305-865-8668. I want to take your calls. I got Brandon from Tampa. Best advice for plumbing sales. Sell more. Corey from Palm Beach. Advice to yourself in your early 20s. Dude, okay, do not make the mistake I made. Pick a profession where there's big margins and big possibilities. Okay, if I had to go back and be 25 a year, I'm gonna take three, I'm gonna take one, two, or three. I'm gonna look for one, two, or three things where I can make, I mean, a billion dollars, forget millions of dollars. So that's the biggest mistake I ever made was I should have gone, I should have followed the mo- money. Where was the ocean of money, not where was the money? Okay, not where, where are they hiring? This is what I got to college. Who's hiring? So stupid, man. That's why I'm telling you guys, don't go to college, dude. Who's hiring now? Oh, we need engineers. We need technical. We need surgery. We need to follow the, look for the ocean of money. Okay. If you go fishing, where, where do you go? Dude, where the freaking fish at? The big, big fish. Okay. Miguel from Jacksonville. What's up, brother? GC, how you feeling, brother? Come on, man. Hey, what is your biggest takeaway from the show today? Uh, diversifying having multiple streams of income. Yeah. I, I hold up, I, I train people here in Primerica, so we get multiple streams. I have a question for now, you. Now, though. now, I just want to be sure you understand, though. What I said about diversify is don't diversify. I'm speaking of multiple streams. Multiple. Uh, okay. Because because the diversification and multiple streams are completely separate and, and incongruous conversations. Yes, sir. Uh, I do have a question for you, Grant. Yeah, um, bring it. I, I push your stuff harder than anybody that I know. Because I'm the I king, dude. A, I'm the godfather. Of course you are. Come on. How can I become an affiliate with you and make money from pushing your product? Perfect, dude. Perfect. You see, you're you're talking. This is that's not a diversification, by the way. This is a perfect. A multiple income stream for McGill. So he would go to grantcardone.com and do what, guys? Robert, can you hear the question? He would go to grantcardone.com and search for affiliates, right? Contact Katie? Yeah, go to grantcardone.com. You can call my office, Miguel. And, and uh, dude, you should be an affiliate for me, okay? We got people making, I mean, a guy did last last month sent us a deal. He got 500 bucks. Got last week, 500 bucks. So um, we'll just set right, you up, bro. Your, we'll set you uh, up. Call my office, 310-777-0255. 310-777-0255. Okay, the lines are open, 305-865-8668. What am I talking about? 12 steps to banking your first milli. Don't be silly. Bank your first milli. I know you guys will be like, man, it's that, and there's no way it's going to happen for me. I know that. I know you're thinking that. Is that what happens, guys? Right? Man, it's hard, man. Grant, I'm I'm never going to be able to get there the way the way. Well, then, okay. Let me tell you something. If you think it's hard to make a million dollars, how you think it's going to be living without it? So you got to pick which one of your hards you want to you know you want to live with. Which hard do you want to do? You see your mom, your dad, your uncles, your aunts. You see your friends. You see people not making it, dude. W- what side of this thing you want to be on? Okay, so that's that's the decision. Yes, ma'am, please. David from Wisconsin. David, what's up? Grant, my question is, I've got a hundred grand saved up to invest. What direction do you think I should go with it? Uh, well, let me ask you, what do you love, David? What do, what do you love that you're like, man, I know if I invest in this, I'll never lose that money. I'm in the car business, baby. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, I could, uh, go for my own dealership. Yeah. Um, you never buy it with how much money that. you got? You got a hundred. Yeah. I, I have a uh, single family homes, but I want to get out of those and get into, uh, multifamily. Yeah. What else? What else you know? That's it. Okay, so you don't know anything about food? You're not a farmer or anything? You got you know about agriculture? Just 
can run from Wisconsin. Doesn't mean I'm a farmer. Okay. How about how about how about water? You know anything about water? No. Okay. Well, the next thing that's not water, food will always be needed. The next thing that will be needed is. How about uh, old age? Old age. People are going to be getting old. 75 million Americans are going to be getting old. You know anything about taking care of old people? No. Then we're left with multifamily, bro. Okay. Multifamily is the place you ought to be. So he packed up his bags and he moved to multifamily apartments, that is. Swimming pools, property taxes, and debt paid for by the renters. The first thing you know, oh, geez, a millionaire. <laughs> okay, so that's what I would tell you, dude. You need to take that hundred, sink it into a deal that's three hundred to four hundred thousand. Where in no. Wisconsin do you live, David? I'm in Nina. Where? Nina. Where, what's the biggest city that's closest to? Uh, Appleton. Okay, so if I go, if I go to LoopNet uh, and look up. Uh, Appleton, Wisconsin. I'm going to look up multifamily in Appleton, Wisconsin. Let's see how long this takes. There it is. Appleton, Wisconsin comes up. That other little town you said, dude. I, uh, yeah, it's a little town. Yeah, dude. I mean, there's some pedophiles came out of that town. That's the only thing Google searches is petties. <laughs> um, okay, look, here's the deal. Kensington Apartments. It's a six and four unit mix of two plus one bedroom units. Whoever Whoever wrote this doesn't even know how to write up a freaking thing. They don't know how to take a good photo of a, a, of a, of a, of a property. This deal is $394,000. First one I looked at, dude, you could buy, okay? You will make, um, on your money, you'll make 12% on your hundred grand forever. While you're paying yeah. down the debt on the deal, if you pay the full three ninety four dollars and don't use any of your car tricks to negotiate a better price... Ha ha. Um, it'll get you 10 units. It's actually a, t- a six and four unit mix. Okay. So these guys don't know how to write it up, right? It's 10 units of two and one bedroom. It's in Kensington, Appleton, Wisconsin. Looks great, dude. Uh, it's, it's got a 7% cap rate, which means if you pay 400, it'll make you 28,000 a year. Let me just do the math real quick. Real quick, no, I'm, I'm familiar with that property. It's a, it's not a great neighborhood. It's yeah. Well, what, no, let me ask you, what neighborhood's your hundred grand in right now? In, my, in a bank, right? Yeah. In what my, kind of neighborhoods that like? Your, your money's in prison, bro. Money? You understand? Your money's in prison. Am I going to be waiting for a bigger, better property and saving up a little more? Well, dude, I, I'm not. I'm not saying. Look, I'm, the the point was not to show you this one and say, but go buy this one, okay? Um, sure. but you need to start hunting, you know, you don't go kill the first thing you look at, right? Cause yeah. what, what'll happen is everybody's yeah. going to run out of the forest. Then you're going to miss the big kill. So you got to ask, you got to ask, uh, you got to start looking, you got to start hunting. You can start in your neighborhood, but find some place where you can park that hundred where that hundred, first of all, you just bought a $400,000 property in a bad neighborhood with a hundred thousand. So what'd you really pay? You paid a hundred. You didn't pay 400. Right. You own four, you control 400. That's how you get rich folks. Okay. You got to take a step. That's why I said, don't diversify. I need you to make your bet in one deal. I need you to make your second and third bets, big bets, not little tiny bets. Mike from Indianapolis. Hey Mike, how you doing? Mike, how you doing? I'm awesome. I'm awesome. How are you, sir? Good, good dude. Now you're going to ask me, are you asking me about the difference between diversification and the multi uh, and the multiple flows? Well, yeah, I had a question on that. You you kind of answered it, but um, yeah. I also did my math. <laughs> you what? I've done my math for my first million. Okay, good, dude. That's good. So, look, he's asking a good question because a lot of people get it confused with this. They're like, well, wait a minute, man. Warren Buffett diversifies. No, Warren Buffett makes big, giant bets in companies, okay? He, now, now, does he have a bunch of investments today? Yeah, because he controls Hundreds of billions of dollars, hundreds of billions. So, yes, he's got to be in multiple companies because he could literally, with his wealth, could consume entire companies. So what he does over the period of time, if you look at his career, he made big bets in a handful of companies. He didn't he was not diversifying his chips. Wall Street, on the other hand, will tell you diversify. 
You need to diversify. You need to be in like 50 stocks. The reason they sell you that idea of being in 50 stocks is so that they get the money from you to confuse you because you they know you can't read about 50 different stocks. Warren Buffett would say, no, 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 man. Take all that money you were going to put in 50. Take all that money and put drop it into one sure deal. That's why he's in stuff like Coca-Cola, Seize Candy, um, Railroads. Dude, he made one big bet, okay? And then, then he makes a lot of money. So that is different, though, than multiple flows. When you get multiple flows going, I want a lot of flows coming at me, okay? I want a lot of different flows. So I might have my, my job income. And then on the side, uh, like I, I sold automobiles when I was young, okay? On the side, I might do some other stuff around the car business. Like maybe I found a car the dealer didn't want. I bought it, and I sold it on the side. Okay. That would be a second flow that would fit. I'm fixing, I'm fixing cabinets on the weekends and I figure out, Hey man, how do I do a paint gig on Sundays? Now I know the Bible says don't work on Sundays. Okay. I think it says that, but I got to say in there, don't be broke too. Somewhere in there has got to be, don't be broke with all these gifts. All right. What's your other question? And so with the, with the diversifying though, so if I, I'm in mobile marketing, but if I go and get into say the stock market or real estate, is that creating a multiple flow or is that diversifying? No, first of all, you getting in the stock market is not going to get you a second flow. Okay. Then you've also violated the fact that you're no longer in control of it because it's with the stock market. So if you're doing mobile marketing right now, okay, what, what is something similar to mobile marketing? That is that Um, your job? That's where you get income from. Well, it's it's a company I own. I I actually just separated from the military, and I'm that's what I'm doing is selling that. But I, as far as something that's similar to it, I guess I'd say like mobile websites is a, is a, another thing that we could get into. Totally, dude. So you're looking for something that you can parallel. Either you're going to add on as a second product, like uh, like yes, within sir. within any co- within any company I have I own, I have four and five flows in every company. I don't have okay. one flow. I'm not going to depend on one product. Once I get those four streams coming in from one company, okay? For instance, at this company, it's, a, it's an online project called Cardone University. Then there's speaking gigs. Then there's books. Then there's audios. There's MP3s. Those are flows coming in for one company. At some point, I'm like, okay, let's do a second deal. So I'm going to then have a company that runs parallel like a skier, right? I don't want the mm-hmm. skis crossing over. I want them to be parallel so that anything that maybe I'm, I'm, I can't do any longer in this company, maybe I'm going to outsource to a partner and build a second company. Then once these two are skiing along and happy, maybe I'm going to go do a third company out here that I have a passion for that has nothing to do with these first two. That is not diversification. That's multiple strong flows. And when I make a bet on this third company, dude, I want to take it. I want to take all the money from these first two flows, and I want to say, hey, if it's a good deal, go all in. If you're not sure, don't put any money in it at all, folks. Okay? Okay. Quit dibbling and dabbling, bro. You're, You're dilettantes. You know why Las Vegas never busts out? If everybody went there tonight and everybody bet everything they had, everything, you'd break every casino in Vegas, right? Because there's got to be a winner. You'd bust them out. You guys get that analogy? All right, how about uh, my uh, Falcon from uh, Arizona? What's your favorite bird, dude? Falcon. (laughs) What's your favorite plane? Um, I'm going to go with a Jet F-16. I want to ride one of those. Okay, could have said Falcon. Oh, Falcon. What's your favorite football team? Favorite book? Favorite football team? Football team? Um, I'm a soccer guy. I play soccer you could have said football. Falcons. You could have said Falcons. Oh, my. So What's your favorite six-letter word? Falcon. Good. There you go. <laughs> okay, go ahead, bro. Thanks a lot, man. Um, so I'm 23 years old. So I'm teammates. I'm doing the fire. Um, I just have a quick question for you. So to start from zero to a million dollars, your first million dollars, what are the struggles that you face and how can you handle it? Well, the biggest struggle, man, was just getting around other people that, 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 that would say I could do it. I mean, 
That's the biggest struggle. Just you get around one guy says, yeah, you can do it. And then you talk to him tomorrow and he's like, no, dude, it's freaking, you can't do this shit. You know, there's so few people telling you to do it. You know what there is a lot of? Save your money, protect yourself, conserve, don't spend, don't take risk. Taking risk is the new way to be risk adverse. So we're, the, the biggest struggle for me was my family, man. The cl- people closest to me was the biggest struggle. Every time I went out to do another deal, everybody told me, you don't need to do that, man. The only person that was encouraging me was my twin brother because I would see how he was doing it. Dude, he was making his swings. And so every time I'd get around other people, so I'll tell you a little trick I did. On weekends, I would always go see homes I couldn't afford. That has always inspired me. I would go look, I would go drive neighborhoods. Literally, I'd, I've done this my entire life until I finally got to the point where they wouldn't even let me in the neighborhood. There's neighborhoods in Miami, dude, you can't even go see. You can't, they won't even let you in the gates. Most of them you can get in if you know some of my tricks. <laughs> So the point that Shovita's writing on the board right now is you got fuel in your tank. It wants to be accelerated on. And then you got somebody in the back seat saying, hey, be careful. Nobody likes a backseat driver, okay? So they're sitting there, they're putting, they're putting mental pressure on the brakes when you're trying to accelerate. We're gonna move this show to 12 o'clock from now on, guys, because I can see you guys get tired and I don't. Y'all need to eat before the show or after the show so I can come in here and rock it. 12 p.m. every Friday. The Cardone Zone. I'm here to talk to you about your money, your finances, and your career. Any way I can help you folks, if I can answer your questions, you go to GrantCardoneTV.com. GrantCardoneTV.com. The Whatever It Takes Network. We're a network of whatever it takes people, broadcasters, and entrepreneurs show up every week, every day to get the freaking hustle on, okay? Protect what you're listening to, folks. Get yourself immersed in energy and information that can help you get out of the freaking struggle. Hustle till you don't have to struggle anymore. And then when you finally get on the top of the freaking struggle, I'm going to ask you to hustle some more to help other people that are struggling. GrantCardoneTV.com. Make sure you subscribe. I'll have all my notes in the show at this network, GrantCardoneTV.com, so that you can review them. Um, I've typed up three or four pages. I didn't get to cover all this today uh, with the callers. Thank you for all the callers. Did we get everybody? Got one more question here. Should I invest? This is from earlier. Should I stop investing in a 401k and invest in yourself instead? Okay, folks, a 401k is as big a scam in this country as colleges are. Now, some of you don't think colleges are a scam. There's three major scams in this country. IRAs. Colleges and homes. They're freaking traps. They're prisons. Okay. They basically, you take your money and you go bury it someplace in a desert, a continent away. You don't even know who's managing it or where it is or if you can get it. Okay. Who would do that with their money? Take me out. Today's episode was brought to you by Goldfizz. If you're looking to increase your income by $2,000 per week in 90 days, visit goldfizz.com to find out more.